This is a short online lecture about functional groups. And here's what I need you to understand. Pretty soon in organic chemistry, they're going to ask us to give us the product of various reactions. For instance, we'll take this molecule and they'll ask us, what is the product when we react it with HBr? And what we're going to learn is that HBr is only reactive with this part of the molecule right here where the double bond is. This is advantageous because think about it. If you have some big complex molecule like this and we're trying to figure out the product of this molecule with HBr, we know to only focus on this part of the molecule and we could ignore the rest. So in organic chemistry, we're going to study the reaction of particular functional groups. And in this case, we would call this the alkene functional group. The beauty of this method is that there's only so many functional groups in organic chemistry. Here's a list of some right here. At this point in the course, you should at least become familiar with these functional groups. Who cares about how they react right now, but just know that they exist and how to name them. We're going to learn how most of these functional groups react in a typical organic chemistry 1 class and we'll learn how these functional groups typically react in an organic chemistry part 2 class. But it's still a good idea to know all of the functional groups at this point. So take a few minutes and look at all these functional groups and notice certain features about them. If it takes a few flashcards to help you memorize them then that's fine. But pretty soon these are going to rub off on you and you're just going to know them right when you see them.